feeling your first start of the season on New Year's Day? Just kind of what's the mindset going into that game, getting the start? Uh, you know, I'm just blessed. It's, it's time to go to work. You know, this is something I've been uh, preparing for uh, my whole time that I've been here. You know, so I'm, I'm ready to go to work. Mindset has been the same. Just be dominant. Go out there and show them who I am, you know. How different do you think the workload could be for you in, in being RB1 as opposed to one of three guys? Um, I, I think it could look a little bit different. Probably similar to how it probably was two years ago um, when I was a freshman, you know, just. But I'm ready for that. You know, this is, this is what I want. This is what it's time to. You know, it's what I've been wanting for, have the opportunity to show and showcase and help my teammates, you know, so it's going to be a good and new mental space that I'm going to adjust to getting back in that role, but it's going to be fun. Is it, is it hard to kind of balance wanting, you know, you're, you're part of a, a trio, but you want to, you know, you want to be the guy. Has it been hard to kind of balance your opportunities with what you really want and that kind of thing throughout the season? Uh, I mean, it, it wasn't hard because once I made peace with, you know, we all got the same goal. We all push and help each other. I mean, I can't look at it as hard. It was just, you know, it only helped me get better, you know, and it all helped us be our best. So, it, you know, I made, I accepted that, and, you know, it, you know, I'm in the position I am right now. I know you're excited, but how excited are you for Cam Selden? How have you guys kind of kind of been pushing each other the last month during this process? Cam Selden as well as Khalifa, they both going to um, take a step up. And, you know, they, they'll be ready. You know, they, they are athletic, and, you know, they're going to put it on film. They're going to show it on TV, but, man, you know, I'm excited for them. Uh, they have questions, man. We help each other out. But, man, they, y'all going y'all gonna to see flashes from them and some, some real athletic and smart plays from them. Leadership-wise, how different has it been for you in the running back room to kind of take over as the main guy and lead those younger guys along? Um, it hasn't been that different. You know, it's just, you know, you, obviously you're missing um, J- Jabari and Jay Wright, um, you know, as two main, main pieces. But um, it's just continuing to do what I've been doing, you know, and emphasizing more and helping them become leaders, you know, because at the end of the day, that's the goal, you know, helping uh, other people elevate to that status. But, you know, it's just continuing to do what I've been doing, trying to help this team. Dylan, did you have to settle in different? I mean, when, when you were with the other two guys, you, you didn't know when your series was going to come. Right? Yeah. It might have been durable. You know going into Monday, you're going to be the first guy out there. Mm-hmm. Do you have to pregame warm up night before do you have to do anything different than you've done this fall no i won't do anything different because i I take i take the attention like i like you know you know i never know how many snaps i'm gonna get you know games varied this year where i've got 20 20 carries where i got you know so the mindset is always be ready for that workload you never know what's going to happen so it's like you don't ever want to be on the back burner so i'm always putting myself in that in that mindset to be ready what's it been like for you watching Man, they became my brothers, man. I still talk to them. Uh, you know, me and Jay Wright, me and Jabari, we chop it up. You know, but, it, you know, we grew like a family, you know. So, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be happy to see where they next step uh, leads to, both of them. But, man, that, those are going to forever be my brothers. And just growing this room is going to look a little different. You know, I'm going to miss them, but, you know, that's just life, you know. So, man, I, I wish the best for them, man, and I love them. Do you talk about the confidence that you have in Nico making his first start as well? Oh, man, we, we all have great confidence in Nico. Um, you know, and uh, Joe's still been around helping, helping with the team, man. He's a true leader, but, you know, I think Nico's ready. Uh, you know, everybody has full faith and confidence in him, and I think it's just time to, you know, let him go. So, uh, you know, I'll be alongside him, helping him out. But, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Have the coaches communicated to you how important pass protection is to sort of help Nico out? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you know, everybody knows that, especially with a freshman quarterback. Uh, that's going to be big on us. And the O-line, you know, just, just giving him that. If he's able to sit back there comfortably, he can make the reads he needs to make without having to worry about the pressure in his face. But, you know, Pass Pro is always emphasized in our room. You know, we, we pride ourselves on being the best room in uh, Pass Pro. You don't ever want to get your quarterback hit in the game. So, you know, whether it's Nico, Joe, whoever's back there, you know, we got to keep him up. So. What do you know about that Iowa defense and the better you know, defense you talked about? Yeah, you know, just, uh, you know, I wasn't too much uh, familiar just because, you know, I was – playing in SEC, but you watch their film, you watch their TV copies of the games, man. They play strong, they play physical, uh, you know, they they want it, you know. So, I mean, it's going to be good, a good challenge for us going against this defense. It's going to be fun to play against them in this uh, in this bowl game. What's it been like with Nico as your quarterback as you prepare for uh, this week's bowl? Oh, it's been good. It's been fun, you know, connecting. You know, we, we built chemistry along, you know, along the year throughout practice, but now, I mean, we'll, we'll get a chance to show it, you know, it's just – fun, you know, uh, kind of telling him jokes while we playing this and that, helping, you know, ease him into uh, things and stuff like that. But, 
you know, I think I think we got a good connection, and I, uh, you know, I think everybody gonna see that. You, you see Cam Seldon every day. What, what what stands out about what he does well? Man, he's just uh, he re he just wants to learn. Like he's real intentional. Like any questions he has, he's gonna ask it. He's a freak athlete. I think everybody's gonna see that. You know, good size, about six two, man. You know, so. The athletic, the athletic stuff gonna speak by itself, but the, the mental mindset he comes to the game with, wanting to get better each and every day, you know, you can't teach that. You know, that's that's hard to teach. Time for two more. Hypo said you were a good leader yesterday. What traits do you think you have that makes you a good leader? Uh, I think it's just uh, consistency, trying to be who I am every single day, because there, there's days where you really don't want to come in and be the energy guy, you know, and you know everybody doesn't have to be the energy guy, but that is kind of who I am. I talk to everybody, I, you know. I try to connect with people. I get people going, you know, and if that's who I am, that's who I got to be every single day. You know, that's the role, the role I choose to step in. So I can't pick and choose my days. But, you know, that's the position I'm in and I'm blessed to be in.